Every computer programmer has a story of how when they just wanted to change one little thing and all of a sudden when they changed that one little thing all of a sudden their whole program stopped working and they spent hours trying to get their program back to a point where it was working before before they changed that one little thing and it drives you absolutely crazy. So as a computer scientist we have two ways in App Inventor to get around that. The first thing I think it's important that you know is that every single time you change any little detail in App Inventor, it saves it. It's a cloud-based application, so it has the huge advantage of you never have to worry about forgetting to hit save or the power going off in the middle of your work. Every last thing you've done is saved. But there's also the disadvantage of you can't just go back to a previous version that you saved earlier because there are no previous versions saved earlier. It's always the exact same current version. So, what we have to work around that is two solutions. One of them is called name forward, and the other is called the checkpoint method. The first method I'm going to show you is called the name forward method. What I'm going to do is I'm going to see I'm going to change some things with these numbers. But before I do that, I'm going to name it forward and I'm going to say, well, I'm going to try something, but I know this version works. So I'm going to save my project with a different name. And you notice this copy thing comes up and I'm going to name it forward to what I want it to do. I'm going to call it the um, more button method and just see what happens when I change the more buttons, the, the values on the buttons a little more and see what impact that has on my project. So the old version is saved. Now I can mess with these variables and no, it's not going to impact my program. This is called the more button version. So I can change this to 100, change this to 200, and then I could mess with the program and see the impact it has. And then if I discover it's not working, what I can do is I can go back to the old version and you see the variables aren't impacted at all. But if I like that more button option and my program is better with more button, um, the numbers are better, then I use that version of the program and it's named forward. It's named what I wanted it to do and, and if it works that's great and if it doesn't that's okay too. That's the called the uh, name forward method. The next method I'm going to show you is called the checkpoint method. What the checkpoint method does is it leaves a checkpoint of the app um, saved at the current state of the app and then keeps letting it improve. So let's say I want to, uh, to um, make an app that had a whole new series of blocks of code. So I'm going to um, Let's see here, what more, what new series of, of code blocks could I add here? Let's say I want to add like, um, oh, I'm just going to call it more logic. So I'm going to make a checkpoint. And usually with checkpoints, you just leave the numbers. And I'm just going to call the checkpoint one. Okay, now I'm going to add a bunch of stuff here. And for whatever reason, it leads to disaster and it's just not working out the way I thought it would. Um, I don't like it. Um, it just isn't working. It just has all these extra blocks of code. So I'm going to go back to my versions and I'm going to say I just want to go back to the way it was. So I'm going to click on the more button version and oops I'm sorry go back to the checkpoint. My apologies. I'm going to go back to the checkpoint before I saved it or at the, at the checkpoint and it's going to remember where things were before I added all that new stuff. So the um, the 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 more the checkpoint version lets the the current version have the improvements on it, but leaves that checkpoint in a safe place um, for you, so you can use it. Version control is really important as you start improving your apps. In fact, professional programmers often use something called GitHub to keep their to manage the, the complex process of version control. It actually is a really complex, really interesting field of study in the area of computer science.